I recently made a video about oil companies turning old oil wells into geothermal energy powerhouses. Then I made a video about solar panel farms being installed on old coal plant waste sites. Now, well, now wind farms are being built on old coal power plant sites. This is renewable energy, my friends. This is disruption. It's happening incredibly quickly. And I have to say, as you can see, I am very, very excited. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Isn't it great to hear this kind of news? You know, the world is becoming a better place at a very quick pace. And I'm going to say a big thank you to our Patreons on the channel here. Really, I couldn't do this without you. It's a lot of work to make eight videos a day. But with your support, basically, I can do it. So thank you so much. If you'd like to become a supporter of Patreon, support the channel. I'll put a link in the description, or you can just Google Electric Viking Patreon. German energy giant RWE is beginning to investigate the possibility of developing wind power on former open cast coal mines much earlier than had previously been thought possible. They're not just investigating it. They're planning on building wind farms on old open cut coal mines. So some of the coal mines worldwide are built very shallow and very, very far. They're vast, they cover huge amounts of space. Those areas now are just wastelands, literal wastelands that no one will ever use. Well, actually not no one, not now. The soils of an open cast mine are unstable for many years after their closure, needing several years to settle before they can actually be cultivated meaning, well, pretty hard to even cultivate them considering the uneven nature of them. They're rocky, they're uneven, they're pretty much useless for anything except renewable energy, whether that's solar panels or wind farms. With modern wind turbines weighing as much as 6,500 tons, it can take up to 15 years before open cast mines can be built on. That's part of the problem, or at least it was. On the initiative of RWE, experts from the Ruhr University of Bochum and engineering firm Jors Blank Olderman will investigate the possibility of accelerating the time frame to allow wind farms to be built on closed open cast mines much earlier than was previously thought possible. So how are they doing this? Well, the research project received funding of 700,000 euros from Germany's federal ministry for economic affairs and climate protection. Together, we want to push ahead with the expansion of wind power and also use more difficult locations for this purpose, said Christian Voigt, responsible for developing wind farms at RWE. Basically, the German government is saying, you know what? We don't want to use Russian oil and coal, oil and gas. We don't want to use it. How do we stop using it? How do we hit our target of 80% renewable energy in 2030? That's what Germany is going for. They need to do a lot to get there but they are on track, especially with plans like this. He said, we are thus very pleased that the Federal Ministry for Economic Affairs and Climate Protection is supporting this project, helping to examine what extent and under what conditions the use of freshly recultivated areas is possible. We'll find out very soon exactly what needs to be done to make this all happen. In the Rhenish mining area alone, we want to build 500 megawatts of additional renewables capacities by 2030 to advance the energy transition. Researchers will be working on the Inden open cast mine for three years, selecting the most complex possible subsoil for their studies. Gravel and sand weighing as much as a wind turbine and its foundation will then be piled up on a circular area with the radius of a wind turbine. Basically, they just pad out the area and make it really, really solid in that spot because these wind turbines, they're enormous, they're bigger, than several football fields put together. Measuring devices will then be used to record any geomechanical changes and computer calculations based on the recorded data and the accompanying geotechnical laboratory investigation will be carried out to, to model the settlement of the subsoil. Basically, what they're saying is here, we are figuring out exactly what we need to do to put wind farms on open cut coal mines. These measurements will not just take into account the dead weight of the wind turbine, but also the effect of wind loads on the ground around an active turbine. We are confident that we can reliably assess the suitability of sites on freshly recultivated areas using computer simulations, which we want to confirm using the test field. This innovative project 
combines many years of expertise on wind turbine foundations and soil mechanics issues in the recultivation of former open cast mines. Former open cast mines are an eyesore. They're basically an environmental disaster, but bit by bit, they will be turned into renewable energy sites using either solar or wind turbines. Now the costs of renewables continue to fall. This year, wind has hit a new low. Solar has hit a new low. Battery storage has hit a new low. We'll be able to say the same exact thing in two years, in three years, in four years. Right now, nearly one third of the world's energy is already renewable. How long will it take us to get to 100? I think it's gonna be a lot quicker than what people expect, but I could be wrong. Let me know what you think in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.